Morning guys, welcome. Absolutely fabulous start to Monday. Great week ahead of us. It's the first full week of July, so I really encourage you to enjoy it. Uh, make a good start to your last six months of this year. Uh, definitely a number of things happening and continuing to do so uh, as far as transitions are concerned. People are taking the options of pre-sale as well to get into the real estate market and then obviously pre-plan uh, whether it's two or three years out and really um, you know take the benefit of what real estate has to offer if you're in a transitional stage give me a ring 778-999-1531 guys good morning i'm amrit sura with remax little oak realty coming to you day to day with a few tips and tricks for what's going on in the real estate world right here in southern bc the fraser valley to be precise all the way from south surrey and into hope there's many opportunities Give us a ring anytime. I'd love to be able to help you out. We're going to jump into the pocketbook of mindfulness and then get on with the day. Here we go. <clears throat> One person's awakening will enlighten countless others. So it really takes, uh, again, the efforts of one are going to impact many. Uh, so the efforts should be positive efforts if it's an awakening um, in, in realization to actually what is going on regardless of what situation it is not just talking about what's been going on over the last couple of years but again we want to emphasize on positivity <clears throat> in the end just three things matter how well we have lived how well we have loved how well we have learned to let go so at some point you want to be able to let go uh, you can't just hold on to things and expect to go and a different direction you want to be able to let go and then grow uh, you want to be able to love not only your partners but again peers uh, close family close friends uh, others around you your community you want to be a good influence on them and then how well we have lived how well we have lived definitely um, you know you'll be empathetic enough if you've lived well to share with others as well. So it's very important that you uh, really have good intentions as you move forward. Dining with one's friends and beloved family is certainly one of life's primal and most innocent delights. One that is both soul satisfying and eternal. So, you know, um, you have to break bread with people you love. And when you break bread with people that you don't know, it encourages some growth of a relationship, whether it's a platonic relationship or a relationship you want to nurture into something, something else. However, we still need to have the time to do it. So really, really think about yourself. I encourage you to get out, spread positivity and really enjoy what you have here. Have a great day, guys. I'm going to see you a little bit later on. Ciao for now. Stay fantastic.